I saw the original Suspiria when I was about 15 and I, I thought it was great. It was such a fantastic story. All female dance school, coven of witches masquerading as a dance school. Such an intriguing idea and I, I love the first movie. So when uh, Luca contacted me to see if I was interested, it was like, wow, yeah, of course. Most of the prosthetics on the film are uh, silicon. We have a silicon material called Plat Gel 10 and it feels like real skin. You soften it down to however you want. In the scene of the, in the mirror room, we have a character called Olga who is uh, leaving the dance school. The witches are gonna stop her leaving, so Dakota Johnson's character, Susie, is dancing in the room next door, so the actions that uh, Susie makes inflict damage and pain on the woman in the room next door. So we'd spoken with uh, Luca a lot about this and uh, he had all these ideas of uh, her, she gets broken down into, she gets uh, an impact in her jaw, uh, so we did a dislocated jaw prosthetic and a set of teeth that are offset. <laughs> And then we had a stomach prosthetic with her chest is, is broken out. And then Luca wanted some really violent uh, action, so we decided we were gonna remove her arm and twist it right round up, up round the back of her neck into some horrible position. We did the same with the leg, so she hits the other side of the mirror room and her leg gets broken round the back. So we created a fake leg that looked like uh, Olga's real leg, one of Olga's arms and one of Olga's legs. And then she's crawling around on the floor, which looks really, grotesque and bizarre. During the process of the film, there's three girls who try to get out of the school and each one meets an untimely end. Mia Goth plays a dead girl and they all get their stomachs sliced open in a... We've done a full body makeup on uh, Chloe Moretz, which is, takes about five hours and it's about 20 prosthetic pieces, so we cover her whole body. Luca had some really great reference, pictures from forensic books to get the colours and all that stuff so and then there's a scene in the movie where Dakota Johnson has a, a she opens up her chest with blood streaming down off it which again is a silicon appliance that she can tear her skin open and behind it is the is the, the mouth with all of it there's a bit of bit of work between ourselves and visual effects We've had uh, several uh, gory blood effects to do on this movie. There's a few key scenes uh, where something brutal happens. There's a scene where Sylvie Testud, Miss Griffith, uh, stabs herself in the neck a couple of times. So we've created an appliance with holes in here and we're spurting blood out of that. Uh, there's another scene where our friend Tilda gets her head <laughs> chopped off. Tilda Swinton plays Madame Blanc, but she also plays Helena Marcus, the matriarchal witch who controls the coven. Luca wanted to come up with something really disturbing and he had a photograph of an uh, old lady with little black round glasses on and a grey hairdo and she's kind of fat and grotesque looking. It's like a new take on a witch, you know. It's not the sort of classic hook nose, pointy ear, chin with a wart on it kind of take, you know. It's, uh, it's hopefully something quite disturbing and shocking. We've also done another character, Death, and trying to do something a bit different, you know. It's skeletal, but it's got some kind of architectural feel to it. The face is covered up and one of the eyes is gonna be digitally removed by visual effects, so it's like a socket. It's great doing a horror movie for someone who's not really a horror movie director, you know, so it's bringing a different angle to it. I'm really pleased to be doing it with Luca because he's got a real uh, artistic eye to it all, you know, and I think a real deep understanding of, of, of the genre. So uh, fingers crossed it's all going to be fabulous. Buffalo Bill's famous dance scene in The Silence of the Lambs wasn't in the script of the film, though it was in the book. Ted Levine, the actor who played Bill, was insistent that the scene be included to help the audience understand the demented character better. Thanks, Ted. We'll never be able to hear Goodbye Horses by Q Lazarus the same again. Hmm?